one of the first things every first responder have is they have they have character. Uh, they have the personality that makes them want to go out and help other people. And without that character, they can't uh, they can't function out there. If you're if you just don't have the heart for it and the, and the internal drive and motivation to be a first responder, you're not going to be successful here. My name is uh, Homer Robertson. I'm the Executive Assistant Chief for the Fort Worth Fire Department. My day-to-day -day activities include all the fire and uh, EMS training for the City of Fort Worth Fire Department, as well as the Office of Emergency Management and Support Services, which includes our communications center and uh, equipment, fire trucks, bunker gear. Everybody cannot become a firefighter for the simple reason is that uh, everybody can't be a professional quarterback. There are just people who don't fit uh, in this profession, either because of their physical cap you know, capabilities or because of their, of their mental capabilities. You know, we have to be mentally tough, resilient, uh, being able to face the challenges that are put in front of us. So, no, not, not everyone can be a So we want to uh, challenge them every day, physically uh, uh, and mentally, to make them ready for the challenges that they have ahead of them. Three, two, one, time. 10 seconds of rest. Training is the one thing in, in that uh, that we have to do on a daily basis. Every day is a training day for us. We have to, to not only learn new skills, but also maintain those skills. The farther you are away from that, the, the more that you, you've, you don't retain that skill. So we have to work with our SCBAs, with our tools, uh, uh, using techniques to do searches or extrication. Those are all things that we have to maintain on a constant basis. If we don't do that, we, we don't retain it. So every day is a training day. This is the Granbury Volunteer Fire Department's uh, 100th year uh, commemorative statue. So 100 years of service. So what we did was, Granbury Fire Department was started in 1907, and in 2007 we erected this memorial. And it lists all the people who had served in the fire department for those first 100 years. It, you know, it was my involvement with it, my father's involvement, and my family's involvement with this fire department that helped me get to where I'm at now in my professional career. These, we were volunteers, we were just giving back to the community. But as we, uh, uh, now it, it allowed me to, to have a, a life, uh, and, but based on the fire service, coming back from the fire service. I like to think, is, you know, here's my father's name, Lynn Robertson. and. It's very, it's very moving to me to think that he, his name is here, and that we can, uh, uh, that other people, my, you know, maybe other kin, and you know, my my son, can come here and say, well, that's my grandfather. It's my grandfather's name on this memorial right here, and hopefully this will be here for forever.
So we appreciate life more because we know that our lives are very fragile and that they can be taken away at any time. It can be over in a minute, in a second. And you can't plan it out. You don't know that you have tomorrow. So you have to have the mindfulness to enjoy what you do right now in your life. Appreciate your family, appreciate the things that God's given you and, and take advantage of them. My family's still more important than a job. Without them, I'm not a good employee. I'm not a, I'm not a, you know, I'm a, I'm a better firefighter because of my family. They support me and, and you know, nurture the things that I do. Uh, again, you have to have those kind of relationships, especially in a stressful environment like we work in. It's important that, that you have a, a support mechanism, a system in place and they're part of my system. One of my primary responsibilities on a day-to-day -day basis is to, uh, is to clear the path, to make their path, make their job a little easier by taking up uh, you know, the uh, obstacles that are in front of them in order to be able to do that. Do they need some kind of a, a new tool or do they need an updated tool or apparatus or, or, those, or those tools and equipment maintained the way they should be? Our tools are super important. These are, these are very much life-saving tools that uh, um, are rescue tools. I can't tell you that we're gonna pull somebody out of a house fire today, but this city is 350 square miles. A million people, over a million people driving around today. Somebody's gonna have a car wreck. We know that we can, we can take rescue tools and take our skills and training and we can help them. We can make their life better. We can extricate them quicker, get them to the hospital where they can really get life-saving care. So this truck is, it is literally a, a rolling toolbox. It's a toolbox. They've only been gone for just a few minutes. So I'm, I'm gonna tell you, the, the more than likely, but the, just the stress of doing that 15 times a day, uh, you know, the traffic and having to deal with people who are emotionally not in their best, you know, in their best frame of mind, that, that wears on our first responders. Uh, they, um, they're encountering people who are absolutely having their worst day of their life. And we're really there to help them try to resolve that. So we take on some of that pain every time we go on one of these calls. You know, working with animals is is somewhat consoling. After you've had a busy day, you can come home where you can uh, take care of an animal that depends on you. And you know that, and you have a certain responsibility to, to help them. You have to feed some alfalfa hay or some pellets to, uh, to help them get through a, a, you know, a long winter. So yes, it, it, does have a, uh, it does have an effect on you. I worry about people who don't like animals. I 
I have a, an old uh, 1800s chuck wagon and I like to cook. And um, so I, I will, I use that as something to, uh, to vent and, and escape the strains of day-to-day fire department life. Yeah, there is a, there's a high, a, an emotional high from rescuing people or helping people. But some days, n- not, not every day are you gonna hit the, the game winner. You, you know, you just have to know that don't get real low and don't get real high. Stay in the middle of the road and, and, and concentrate and focus on what your job is today.